Hey YouTube, what's up? Today we're coming at you with a Lumia stream video. Something I like to do in stream with my Elgato key light is do a flashbang. So I want to share the knowledge with other fellow streamers. So uh, if you guys have any tips, hints, or anything on YouTube, let me know because it's going to be my first video. So please go easy on me. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get started. So this is going to be Lumia stream right here. Okay. It's going to be lumiastream.com. I'll go ahead and uh, post the link down in the description so you guys can go and get it later. Um, what you're going to do is click get Lumia stream and you guys are going to have options here from free to premium. Um, we'll go over some of the options. So um, for free, um, you're not going to be able to do this certain uh, flashbang command um, with the free version. So you will have to get premium, but it's only like $3 a month. So um, really not that expensive and you get a ton of customization with the premium. Um, so make sure you guys do that. Um, the studio, you get all these uh, commands. You get all the configurations, um, all the lights, the overlays. Um, you get all this as well. So I already have it. I'm not going to download it. So we'll go ahead and open it. Um, this right here is going to be your dashboard. Um, so you have all your alerts, your stats, um, your chat, your chat commands. You have a queue if you want to activate that. So if you have multiple lights and then, you know, your chat is um, trying to activate certain lights you can set up a queue but they're all going off at the same time um, you have all your connections i'll just show you guys the basic connections for what we need um, so i have uh, the key light and the stream deck and then you're gonna have to connect stream labs and obs and then twitch obviously um, if you guys don't already have the web sockets for obs you guys are gonna have to go ahead and download that as well i'll go ahead and put that in the link the link down in the description as well um so first we'll start off with the connections because obviously we need our connections first so uh make sure you guys set up your twitch account it should um connect it for you just give login information good to go um, connect your obs and your stream labs um then down here your key light go ahead and connect your key light so this is all going to be internet based so it's going to pick it up um over the ip address and then you connect your stream deck if you have one if you want um, and then we'll go up to the studio. So this is where um, you make all your animations, reactions, themes, etc. So you guys want to go down to animations. Um, you guys will go to add animation, and then you can name it whatever you want. I already have one made, so we're not going to go through that all again. Uh, we'll go to flashbang. So all this stuff on the left hand side, we don't need to worry about that. What we're focused on is the three slots right here. So I know it says lights off. Don't worry. Just trust the process. Um, you guys want to go to the edit button. So this right here, you want to set a one second and duration and a one second transition. And this is just the sound. So this is just going to be the throwing flashbang sound. Um, so it'll go off for a second and then we can close this right here. You'll go to your second slot. Um, this right here is going to be your another sound. So I have it set for the CSGO flashbang. So it's like rattling on the ground. Um, you'll have this set for four seconds um, as well. You'll have your light set up. So on the start, um, your device will be right here on the left hand side. Go ahead and click it and it'll add it over here. You want to power it on. You want to set it all the way to 100% and to 7000 um, lumens. Uh, you want it to be as bright as possible because um, again, it's going to be a flashbang it's supposed to blind you. Cool. We'll, we'll close slot two and we'll go to slot three. Um, next, you want to have a three second duration. So this should be um, how long you're going to the light is going to be on. So same thing right here. You'll add your device. Um, you can keep this one on or off. It just depends on how you do it. I keep it on because I also use my light um, for lights to um, brighten up my stream room. Um, so I just have it set in conjunction with the key light control center. So I just set it back down to 20% and leave it on the 7,000 and that works just fine for me. Um, and then it's all automated. Cool. And that's that. Um, so now we didn't change anything. So um, big thing too, when I was trying to get this set up, I had a big problem with it. When you go to um, 
your commands you want to go to twitch points because based off your twitch points you can also do your twitch extensions and have people um set for like bits so if you don't want to do twitch points you can do bits so say i had it set up at one point for 250 bits um it would throw a flashbang however i just do points it's a lot easier um go into here it'll already be in here because you have it set up in um your animations so you go into here cool all this is good you want to make sure that everybody can use it too um so the duration is eight seconds so this time right here you want to match up with the time that you had set up for everything in your flashbang so say here you have um one second four seconds so five and then eight seconds so those have to be matching or you're going to get um the timing is going to be off and it's not going to work so make sure that this time is matching what you have in your command section for twitch points so they have to be eight and eight or whatever you set it up for make sure that the two numbers are matching um and we don't have to mess with anything else on here because it's all set up and good to go cool guys so that's basically how you set it up um i'll try to link some clips in here as well so you guys can see what it looks like um on stream how is that a hit mark throwing flashbang dude that's so goddamn right um and make sure you guys follow on twitch i'll go ahead and link all my links all my socials so make sure you guys subscribe uh follow let me know if there's anything i can improve on this is my first video uh kind of going out of my comfort zone not really sure what i'm doing so if you guys have any suggestions please drop them below